So here with the newest edition of Taylor Gang, Lola Monroe. Yes. Tell us a little bit about, you know, yeah. you coming into this hip hop game. I've always been into hip hop and music all my life. I'm from DC and it's not like LA and it's not like New York and Atlanta. So it's not stars that are like examples to, to show you that you can make it big or it's possible, you know? And I've been on my own since I was 15 years old. So it was just like always an escape for me. And then I got into the industry, started modeling, doing all those stuff. And then I was like, okay, you know what? This is my chance to be able to pursue a love of mine. And here I am now. You know, most people associate you with being a video vixen. Like, which one do you think is harder to crack, being a video vixen or just being the female MC? Definitely being a female MC, especially when you're transitioning from being a vixen. Because they didn't know my story. You know, all they saw was pictures of this girl, and they don't know where I'm from. They don't know, you know, that I love hip hop. They don't know my passion. They didn't know anything. So all they can do is just take from what they see and make their assumptions. And these days, people are just so one-track minded that they feel like, no, they want to box you in, yeah. you know? But I broke those barriers. So there was a point where in your career where it was just like, you know, when you started rapping, you was like, listen, I'm not taking pictures a certain way, I'm not doing a certain thing. Did you find it difficult in a sense for people to take you serious? Maybe just as a female? MC or just just as a female period definitely respect is really really important you know and especially for us in the game so I understood that if I want them to listen to me I can't pose those ways and I can't take those images those pictures and dress this way or be featured in these videos and things like that and I was at my highest peak when I decided to make that transition and turn down those offers and that money and those requests and things like that. So that's what I did. I just totally stopped and I made that sacrifice and sometimes you have to do that in order to win. How did you become a part of Taylor Gang? Well, Wiz was putting together his whole team for Taylor Gang and he wanted a female and me and Amber are cool. So they had a talk and he knew me and her were cool. So he's like, I'll let her in. You know, me and him spoke and our visions matched and here we are. We just got to work immediately. So now, you know, Nicki Minaj is doing really well. And there's the Azalea Banks, Iggy Azalea. But everyone, all of them are kind of attacking each other. Certain females are kind of attacking each other. Do you ever feel like there can be just more than one. Definitely, absolutely. Because all of us are different and all of us represent different things, our stories are different. And women in general are just, we're diverse creatures. So one female can't represent every woman in the world. So we need that diversity to represent all our kinds. If you had a choice, mm -hmm. you can work with one of them, rock the stage, who would it be? Missy. Why is that? I love Missy. She's very inspirational and her energy. See, Missy went from being a rapper to a performer. So can we expect Lola Monroe yeah. to make that transition Definitely. as well? Definitely. That's like my focus right now. Initially, it was, you know, music, you work on your craft, you work on all that. And now it's like performances and stage and making sure it's a show and it's not just, you know, you going up there to do regular stuff. Speaking of performances, are you on tour right now? Tell us like what's happening with you, where your fans can see you, where you'll be performing. So I'm finally done with my tape. I'm so excited. And now we'll be going on the fall tour. So you mentioned your mixtape. Can you give us a little bit of details about it? Who you're working with, production, when can we expect it? We go on tour in October, so definitely before that. Now that I just wrapped up my tape, I'm getting the features in it. But of course, I have Wiz on the tape, I have Juicy, I have Chevy Woods, so Los. So I have a few features, but we're seeing about getting more. So I know a few years ago you did an independent movie. Can we expect you to continue your acting career? I just had a meeting with BET, so definitely going back into it. So are you liking the independent freedom with Taylor Gang, or do you see yourself? signing with a major. 
I don't think it's important to rush into a deal and rush into signing and set yourself up. I think it's good to build your situation on your own and make sure everything is right. And then when your heart feels like it's right, then, but right now everything is going really good for me. So why, you know, jump into anything? Okay. Is there any piece of advice you would give an indie artist? Because before signing with Taylor Gang, like your movement was crazy. Like you were walking your videos on 106 and Park, yeah. like your songs were being played on the radio. You basically had the backing of someone who was signed to a Def Jam or an Interscope. Like what would your advice be to that indie artist? Build your movement. Definitely do it independently and solidify yourself independently before you jump into any deal at all. So, you know, hip hop is really kind of limited in the DC area. I know there is Wale, who's doing incredible, there's Batrell. And you are basically the first female to make it out of the DC DMV area. How is that for you? I feel blessed and I carry my city on my back so heavy. I love my city so much and I've been doing it since I first came out, like before the music officially and everything. So now, if anything, it feels like I have a responsibility and um, it's to push and make sure that I represent and I, I, I handle what I have to handle and be that female representation. Go hard and you know just continue to do everything I'm doing. I have a label called Blue Rose Entertainment and right now it's being pushed in the DMV area and DC area. So it's just coming back and helping the artists and things like that that are trying to do their thing in you know, my neighborhood. I grew up in Garfield Terrace, uptown. I'm just making sure that I come back and I'm able to reach out and help others just the way, you know, I came out of it. What's up, it's your girl Lola Monroe and you are watching Karma Loop TV, Civil TV, I know what it is.